Hey guys, welcome back to another Default Cube CG Matter tutorial, and today we are going to be talking about a pretty cool add-on that lets you, you know, show what you're clicking and typing in the Blender viewport, which is pretty rich coming from me because I don't use that kind of thing in my tutorials. But either way, it's an add-on by JNM. It's free. It's called Shortcut Viewer, and let me show you how to use it, install it, and everything else. And yes, Procedural Nodes 3 is coming. This is another detour video until I get my new microphone. Okay, cool. So now, do I see my mouse? Cool. So what you're going to do is, first of all, we need to install the add-on. That should be no surprise. And you can do that from this GitHub. You can either find that as a link in the description, or you could just type in shortcut viewer, and then it should be the first result, this uh, GitHub. So either way, you're going to find yourself at this GitHub. We're going to download it, install it, and then learn how to use it. And of course, you can learn everything you need from this readme file, but you're already watching this video. Ignore that. So to download, hit this green button, hit a download zip, and then I'm just going to have this download to the desktop. Okay, cool. That's done. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so now we have our add-on, and we need to install it. So, so just open up Blender. Um, this is an add-on for version 2.8, or like anything with a 2.8. So 2.8 works, 2.81 works. I'm sure 2.82 works. I mean, I haven't tried it out, but I'm sure it does. So what we need to do is go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and then we're going to hit Install to install an add-on. And then I'm just going to navigate to, here we have the uh, zip file. So you just select the zip file and literally hit install add-on. It really is that simple. And then you enable it and you can find out all the information about it. So you can see it's made by JNM. Thank you for making this free. I'm sure this will be useful to a lot of people who make tutorials and are nicer to their fans. So they actually show the hotkeys, uh, but enable this. And then you are going to see that nothing happens. I'm like typing in a to select everything. It's not showing up uh, to make your shortcut viewer actually view to actually show you're going to hit n for all these properties then you are going to go to shortcut viewer i'm going to have probably some extra tabs that you don't because i have some other add-ons but wherever you have shortcut viewer just click this and then just hit start shortcut viewer and you're going to notice that at the bottom right we have uh, something that looks like the uh, left right let me left right middle scroll wheel i guess you didn't need me to zoom in for that and you can see that it's actually responding. So I'm left clicking, you can see that, and scrolling, and then holding the middle mouse button. And on top of that, it's also showing the uh, command. So and it has the multiplier and everything, which other stuff doesn't. So A, uh, we'll hit this, tab, scale, uh, I don't know, a G. Basically works for pretty much everything. And there's been some updates to it, but the only things you need to know are the settings over here. So first of all, we have the docking. And as you might expect, that is where is it going to show like all this information. So right now it's on the bottom right. We can also make it the left. So now it's on the left. Same thing, same deal. Uh, we also have center, which has it centered. And by the way, if you go to another workspace that also has a viewport, you can see that also transfers over. And we can, again, uh, disable... You might have to like restart it a couple times to get it to work and then you can dock it somewhere else on this viewport but there you go um, so that's docking and then another new feature about docking this didn't exist until like a week ago or something is this cursor option which probably is the most useful so i'm just going to restart this there we go and you can see we got the same thing but now it's actually following the mouse but if i right click it's going to overlay on top of it so you can you, I mean, you can see why that is an issue so there's also options for offset. So I'm going to I'm going to offset it on the x axis, let's say. So you can think of your cursor as the anchor point and then I'm going to offset it more on the x axis. So now you can see it's to the right um, of our cursor and then if we right click it's not as hidden and then you can also do some like vertical stuff which I guess goes downwards, which is a bit strange, but whatever. That's just a sign convention. So this actually follows your mouse and has the whole thing. And then I guess the only other options are pretty obvious. Let me just dock it to the left. Uh, we can change our text color. That's the thing that says left over here. So I think most people like to keep this at a yellow. That's pretty standard. I guess I did orange, but whatever. Then you have the color of your buttons, which right now are the black, uh, blackish gray looking buttons. So we can make those like red, for example, and very bright. And then for your um, color buttons, click, uh, what's it actually called? active color buttons active that's what happens when you actually click you can see it's turning white um, you can pick a color for that too and i think probably the nicest convention is having both of these be yellow and this one be black i don't know i feel like that's nice and visible maybe you want the black to be white 
But um, yeah, I guess that's really all there is to it. So go ahead, make your Blender tutorials. You now have everything you need for people to stop commenting uh, to show your hotkeys, or you could just not read the comments. That's another approach. But um, uh, the only critique I have, by the way, again, this is free. So take all of this with like, you know, entitlement, whatever. Um, something that I would like in this add-on that used to be in an older version is this docking. You could also pick the window it was in. So you can anchor it to a certain window. So right now it's in the viewport and you can do it in the shading viewport. But what happens if you want it uh, down here, right in the shader editor? Or you're like, okay, maybe have it follow your uh, cursor. Let's just refresh that. So it follows your cursor, but then it doesn't actually show up down here, which is a bit annoying and you don't have the um, option for the add-on over here, is, at least as far as I know. So I would like that feature back, JNM, but um, you might actually be watching, whatever, whatever. You now know how to do it. You now know how to make tutorials. Uh, shader nodes coming in the future. Once I get my microphone, we'll do part three. Um, thank you for watching this detour video. Uh, best way to support me is via Patreon and also make sure to download the uh, add-on from GitHub to help JNM out, I guess doesn't really help them out. It's just a cool add-on. So yeah, Patreon's best way to support me. Other than that, I got nothing for you guys. See ya.